Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. What a great day it is today. Today's verse, it comes to us from the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, and it says this, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. In this verse, we see the beautiful design and the institution of marriage between a man and a woman. God made both physically different, different, but equally the same in his sight, for both were created in the image of God, both male and female. And for this reason shall a man leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. In this verse, we see that there is to be the leaving of parents, that the union between a man and a woman is to become the primary and strongest relationship between persons building their own family. Family. Secondly, this union is to be intimate, permanent, and lasting as long as the two shall live. As the Lord said in Matthew chapter 19, verse 6, what God has brought together, let no man separate. You know, it is interesting when I run into couples that have been married for 20, 30, 60 years, and yet people won't stay together today for 60 days. You know you've been married for more than a minute when you start to complete one another's sentences. And lastly, the husband and his wife are to become one flesh. He is to be hers and she is to be his, so much so that they are to be as one person. There is both a physical intimacy and a spiritual union binding the husband and the wife together, especially if they are Christians, for they are one in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The husband and the wife are to bring the whole of themselves into the relationship. Marriage relationship is to be yielding unto God and to one another, becoming one flesh, not separate. Yes, one plus one equals two, but one times one equals one. <laughs> to God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse as you go throughout this day. And I pray that you would have a great day. Listen, it is the weekend. Get out and do something special for yourself and with your family. Sunday is coming. Make sure you enter into a place of worship with the saints of God. Depart to serve Monday morning. God's willing. We'll see you right back here. Yes, on today's verse. Amen.